Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video I'm going to be taking you step by step how to draw a cycloid. So before we get into this video, if you are new to this channel PA Academy, uh, please kindly take your time now to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Please know that subscribing is absolutely free, so it won't cost you anything. Please click on the subscribe button. Uh, it means a lot to this channel. It will help this channel to grow. So just click on the subscribe button. And if you have done that, thank you very much. And let me know in the comment section if you have subscribed. So just say something like, I've subscribed and I'm going to reply you. Alright, so thank you very much. So now let's get into this video. I said how to draw a cycloid. So the, uh, in this video, I'm going to be drawing a cycloid with a uh, radius of 3 centimeters. So let me note that here. So the radius of the circle that we are going to be using, radius, that is um, 30 millimeters. So 3 centimeters, same as 30 millimeters. So depending on the unit you are familiar with. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So to start with, I'm going to be drawing a circle. So I'll bring in my ruler and my compass to draw a circle with a radius of 3 centimeters. So this is it, I already have it, 3 centimeter. So that's the circle there. So the next thing you have to do is to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. So First, I want to divide it into two. So the one you are drawing through the center, you can extend it towards the right. So now in dividing it into 12, I'll be bringing in my uh, protractor. So if you want to know more about dividing a circle into any equal parts, so just check our playlist on technical engineering drawing. There are a lot of videos there that will show you how to divide a circle into any number of parts, either 5, 6, 7, up to 12, and even more than. So now we are dividing this into 12, so that will be at 30 degrees inter uh, interval. So this is at 30 degrees, I'll note this point. Another 30, that's 60. The next one, that will be 90, followed by 120, and plus another 30, that's 150. So just follow along. So it drags past through the center. So with that, I've been able to divide it into 12 equal parts. So the next thing is let's number some of these points. So this is um, let's this is one. So note this: two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve. So this is also zero, zero and twelve. Now I haven't done that. The next thing we are going to do is to find the horizontal distance from here that we are going to extend where we are going to be having our cycloid so how do we know the length from this point to this point now what will allow us to know it is we are going to be using the length of the circumference of the circle so and how do we get the circumference of the circle don't forget the formula to calculate the circumference of this of a circle which is um, 2 pi r 2 pi r so that is 2 times so let's take our pi to be 3.142 3.142 times then the radius of this circle which is 3. So by the time we multiply this, we are going to be having 18.852 centimeter. So this is going to be the length from those points that we are going to extend. extend. So if you are using a different uh, radius for your circle, just calculate the circumference and then you get uh, the length that you are going to use. So in doing this, I want to measure that length on this line. On this line. So let me just, so that I can, I can note it. So that is 
so this is 18.852 we are around this place so I already note the point 18.852 so now let, we are going to project lines from point 4 to point 8 towards the right. So horizontal line from point 5 to point 2 to the right, from point 6 to the right. So and they are going to be parallel. So in order to get a good result, I'll be using my uh, t, uh, sorry, my set square. So, so just follow along. So I've been able to get to that line. So I'm uh, the set square is resting on the ruler, so I can easily adjust it. So from point four. So I'll just take it up. So now point six. So the same thing we are going to do here. So from this point where I measured the 18.5, so I can clean these other lines that we are having here. Alright, so I haven't done this. The next thing we have to do is, you see this, from those points to this point that we are having here, we are going to divide it into 12 equal parts. So dividing it into 12 equal parts, um, since we are having it as 18.852, it's not a um, number that we can just easily get a whole number. So we, can, we just apply a method which is uh, how to divide the line into equal number of parts. So if you check the playlist on engineering and technical drawing, there are videos that explain how to divide a line into equal number of any number of parts. So that's what we are going to be doing. So with this line, so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to divide this line into 12 equal parts. So using any convenient length on my compass. So I'll do this till I get to divide it into 12. So I'm done dividing this particular line into 12. So what I'll do is I'll join the last point to this point here. So I'm going to be drawing lines that are parallel to this line to touch this particular line that we are having here. So I'll be using my set square again so that the, uh, to make sure that the lines are parallel. So I have my set square resting on the ruler. So what I just have to do is to adjust, move the set square till it gets to the point that I marked on this line. So 
so I just adjust it so I'll pause the video and go ahead and draw, in, uh, draw these parallel lines so now I've gone ahead to divide it so that means we will call this point so let's go this is one two so where it is touching this line two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so what we just applied is we've been able to divide this line into 12 equal parts so the next thing is to draw vertical lines from all those points so from all these points 1 to 12 you are going to draw lines vertically upward so i'll be using my ruler and my set square again so just to make sure that we have um, the accurate results so since i've gotten the point what i just have to do is to adjust it to point one because we need the, we have to make sure that the lines are parallel. So from point one, draw the line, the vertical line. So adjust the set square to point two. So I'm going to keep doing this till I get to point twelve. Alright, so I'm done with this, this vertical line from point 1 to point 12. So now the next thing is we are going to bring back our, our compass and then we are going to measure it to the, to the radius of this circle which is 3 cm. So I have it to be 3 cm. So next thing we are going to do is, now from this point 1, this line that is on point 1, from this point, on line one that is at this point or oh, let me let me let me uh, label it so let's call the center of this circle let's call it uh, point A so let me call this point A1 let me call this point A2 this particular point A3 so I'm gonna have to name those points so just note it so like here we are having six so this is A6 so here we are having eight this is Point eight straight up to the center of the circle was the point of intersection A eight. So till you get to A twelve. So I've already measured my uh, compass to be at three centimeters. So I place it at uh, point A one, and then I'm going to draw an arc to touch this line that is coming from point one towards the right. So I'll draw. So it is touching it. So I'll place it on. This is now point two. So I'll draw an arc to touch this line that is coming from point two towards the right. So this is it. I'll repeat the same thing for three. So this is the line from three for point four. So this line that is coming from four, I'm going to draw an arc on it. So I'm going to repeat it for all the points. So now I'm on point 7, for point 7, if you look at it, this is 7, so, so it's going to be on this side. Then I'm on point 8, so for 8, this is 8, it's going to be on this side, so I'll continue like that. So now let's note those points, so we're here, because this is, so this point is where you are cycloid, you are going to join them together and that's going to give us our cycloid. So let's note those points, so for point so it is coming like this. So this is one here. So uh, you can decide to use maybe your French curve or whatever you want to use. So we are going to be using it to join all these points together. So I will be using my French curve. So you make it bold. So now let's com let me complete this side.
So with that, we already have our cycloid. So, so this is how you go about if you are asked to draw, uh, draw a cycloid. So if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And in the description of this video, I'm going to be leaving a link to other videos like how to draw an epicycloid, the involute of a cycle, an hypocycloid, hyperbola, helix, and how to draw their, uh, if you are asked to draw a tangent to any of all those drawings. And in the next part of this video, I'm also going to be putting you through how to draw a tangent to a cycloid. So if you have a cycloid like this and you're asked to draw a tangent from a given point, so how do you go about it? So that video is going to be coming up immediately after this video. So it will be popping up somewhere here. So once you click on it, it will take you to that video. So if you have any question or any comments or any video request, uh, do let me know in the comment section below. Once again, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. So just click on that thumbs up button. If you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy or you are new to this channel, please, it's absolutely free. Just click on the subscribe button. Also check our playlist on technical and engineering drawing. There are a lot of videos that will be of help to you. And you can also check our website, paacademy.co, paacademy.co. And with that, I'll see you in the next part of this video, which will be popping up here, showing you how to draw a tangent or a normal, a tangent or a normal to a cycloid. Thank you.